everyone my name is Merlin and welcome back and or oh, welcome to my channel I have a collective haul for you guys today and these are things I hauled from last year late November to now I got these things from shophash.com, Dose of Colors, Carrefour eBay and Super Cosmetics. So everything's probably listed in the title if there's anything that I've forgotten to mention. Because I did buy them quite a while ago, I'm not sure if I'll be able to find links to all of these items, but for those that I will find, I will link them down in the description box. If not, I'll just like mention that I couldn't find the link. Without further ado, because there are a lot of things, let's get right into it. And I'm going to start with Colourpop. I did purchase these things from a group, of, say, many people want to buy from a specific site in this case Colourpop you choose the things you want to buy you send links to one person who is then going to purchase these items you send her the money for your items she purchases the items and then they come to her and then all you pay for is shipping i think like 10 plus people bought from Colourpop at that time so the total amount for the shipping and all that was split between 10 people you do end up paying quite a substantial amount less than what you would have paid shipping of these things i paid 420 bob i did get five things from Colourpop and one of the things i got was this Colourpop brow boss gel this little brush is just perfect for like getting into here another thing that i use today on my waterline this Colourpop cream gel liner in the shade punch and it just comes in a box like this and it has the color over here which is yellow wow that's a lot of product We'll check up on that later to see if it is smudge proof. Lastly from Colourpop I got three liquid lipsticks. I got them in the shade Limbo, Guess and Mamacita. Mamacita is the Colourpop collab with I Love Sarahi. So these are the shades I got. This is Guess, this is Limbo, this is Mamacita. The eyeliner is smudge proof. There's nothing on my finger. Next place I hold things from is Textbook Center and I only mention this because it was such a random buy. I went to Textbook Center to get a HDMI cable and look at the brand I found. Nazaro is an SFX makeup brand and the thing that sets Nazaro apart is that you can use the SFX things on children. This is what the box looks like and it just says Nazaro the world's favorite face and body paint. Fiesta and carnival kit and what you get inside this kit is small booklet I think with like face painting ideas you can do on kids and it just has yellow grey, white, gold red, pink, blue and black and then this is a sponge and comes a little tiny brush since I was buying paint I decided to go ahead and buy paint brushes I got them from the brand Matrol and I got two of the 577s triple zero and this is the number 20 so that's it for textbook center next we can get into dose of colors and came in a box that just looks like this so the reason why the box is happy holidays I did purchase these liquid lipsticks last year during Black Friday which was end of November around the 24th of November and they had a full 40% of site wide so um, liquid lipsticks that normally go for $18 are going for $10.80 and lip glosses that normally go for $15 were going for $9 I didn't use any courier service to ship to myself from Dose of Color the liquid lipsticks were $84 and shipping them to myself was free shipping and when they did get here in Kenya I did pay $1,675 the lip gloss I got is in the shade undressed the liquid lipsticks I got are in the shades Bury Me, Supernatural, Kiss of Fire, Coral Crush, Marlow, Chocolate Wasted, and Truffle. I have Kiss of Fire on my lips right now. They all come in a box that looks like this. It's mint on this side and has little snowflakes on the side. That's just the sleeve. You remove the box and this is the packaging for Dose of Colors. And when you open the box, this is what the liquid lipstick looks like. So I did do an in-depth review on the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick and the link will be up here if you're interested in seeing that. Next we can get into items I got from Carrefour and some of them I have already started using. First things first, we'll start with this. And this is the ORS Hair Restore Fertilizing Temple Balm with Nettle Leaf and Hostel Extract. And this is what it looks like. I had four dreadlocks on my hair and it was murdered to my edges. It took out so much of my actual hair and the reason why I got this is because I'm really really hoping that it does make my edges grow. Next thing I got is this shaving cream from Soft Sheen Carson and it's a Vaseless Cream Shave Regular Strength for Normal beard this is actually meant for your beards but I use it to shave 
my displays. This is my second tube and I really really love it and it says it helps stop razor bumps and closer shave than a razor and it works in four minutes. I have very coarse hair in my outfits TMI I know but for me I normally keep it on for six minutes that's the only way that it, it all comes off. But for you if you have like fine hair four minutes is fine. Next thing I got is this and this is the L'Oreal Elvive I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Alviv, Alvive, Keratin Strength 72 Hours Conditioner. It just says for unmanageable frizzy hair. I'm honestly not sure if I got the right thing. Especially if you have weak hair, it's advised that you incorporate hair stuff with keratin in them so that it can strengthen your hair. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to get a conditioner or a shampoo so I just settled for the conditioner because I normally leave my conditioners for 15 minutes before I wash them off. Another thing I got is this and this is the pharmacy botanics shampoo and it just says strength tolerant free paraben free silicone free sage for weak and thin hair if you've noticed all of these things are mostly geared towards my weak hair i do have really, really weak hair so i'm trying to strengthen it so that i can gain more volume the do go things do work but i just want more next hair thing i got is this you guys might think Berlin didn't you buy something like that a few like months ago and you said how crappy it was you're right i did but the sales lady who was there told me this was like the new formula or something and it's supposed to be so amazing so let me try this new formula let's see if it works and this is the alma legend rejuvenating ritual billionaire hair potion scalp serum with indian alma oil this is the only thing that i actually kept the box because i haven't used it yet it just looks like a healthy person's piece i bought into her selling me and i got the thing so i don't know if it will work let's hope it does those were the hair things that i got from Carrefour. next we can get into the makeup and first First things first I got is this and this is the Maybelline Fit Me New York Matte and Polish and this is for normal to oily skin in the shade 350. I have done an in-depth review, wear test and all that jazz on this foundation so click on the link over here find out my thoughts on this foundation. Another thing I got is this little blush. This is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today and this is the Slick Sunrise Night 24 blush and it's so pretty. It's like red with flakes of gold. Cool. Two things that I got next are these and these are the Maybelline New York Master Ink Matte Liner and Maybelline New York Master Ink in Satin. It's been years since I last used a liner like this but I used the matte one to do my cut eye today and I really really like it. The matte looks very very nice, very chic. And the satin one has a bit of sheen so that's the difference between the satin one and the matte and the matte one. <laughs> that's the difference between the satin one and the matte one. The last thing I got from Carrefour is this and this is the Vaseline Petroleum Jelly in its original form and it just looks like that. I prefer the aloe vera one because I have really really dry lips and I find that the aloe vera one is more hydrating but this one also does the job. So that's the end of the things I got from Carrefour. Next we can get into Shophash. Things I got from Shophash came in a box that looks like this. This paper is customs paper but initially it looks like this. When you open it you get this. Ugh, it's so big. And you get this big bubble wrap stuff. I did purchase these items during Black Friday last year, and some of these items were at a discounted price. So, with the links that I will put in the description box, items will no longer be discounted, so they will be back to the original prices. The total sum of these items was $51 and then $20 to ship them from the States to me. Here in Kenya, I didn't use a courier service. And then at custom, I paid the same price $1,675, $1,500 for the items, and then $175 for that yellow slip that you get so let's get into the items that i got and first things first is this blush palette from beauty treats matte blush contour collection next thing i have is this and this is the okalan glowing palette shimmers kit and it just has the ingredients back there the shades up here and that little thing it's doing so this is the cover and then remove the slip you have the palette and it's the same yay mirrors and this are the shades next is the okalan the lower matte eyeshadow palette shine easy glam product secret that's what it says and the packaging just looks like this it's such a pretty packaging and the back it just looks like that nothing is this Cara professional makeup palette in the shade ES2 box just looks like that the back looks like this inside it has a mirror these two applicators a protective sleeve and these are the colors and lastly from shop hash will be this amuse cosmetics eyeshadow palette and 
the back just looks like this such a pretty palette it says amuse cosmetics eyeshadow palette the back it has this little paper with the ingredients i think it's actually called fk 9580-m2 the applicators are different and it has a mirror comes with a sleeve and then these are the shades it's more of a cool toned eyeshadow palette that's it for the things i got from shophash.com next we'll get into the things i got on ebay first things first and it's this eyelashes that i have on right now and these are the three fashion eyelash three four seals eyelashes and this is what it looks like from the same company as well and this is in the style 3d67 same lashes same company in the style sd-10 another set of eyelashes i got are these ones and these are eyelashes from ding seng fashion eyelashes they're in the style a40 the last pair of lashes i got they look like this and they're supposed to be mink lashes they do feel very soft and these are ding seng eyelashes in the style y8 another thing i got are these and these are just lip pencils and they come in a pack of 50 quite a number of fake nails and we'll start with these ones from vivi nail there is no style number or anything like that the next nails are from for wonderful nail collection and this is in the style 49294 last pack of nails i got at these pre glued nails and they're from the company yti in the style 113924 i didn't know this up until i got these nails but these are actually two nails last thing i got from ebay is this eyeshadow palette and i really wanted this eyeshadow palette because i wanted to do a review on it and this is the beauty glaze glitz glam eyeshadow palette so you have five matte eyeshadows and five glitter eyeshadows i'm not going to do a swatch test on this because i've never had a glitter palette before I don't know how it works and I want to find out with you guys. Lastly, we can get into the two items I got from Nairobi Otaku Shop. I got two custom made items of clothing. I am such a huge one piece fanatic. I love one piece. So it's only natural that the first two custom made items of clothing I did get were from the anime one piece. So first one I got is this jacket here and this is like an army jacket and over here it just says nada. Then over here it says one piece. Then the back it has the Mugiwara symbol and the next item I got is this jumper that I'm wearing right now and it's just a Trafalgar Law Jolly Roger and then at the back it has like little paw prints this items cost 2500 each so that brings us to the end of this whole video I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thanks for watching and see you all in my next one bye